Hey guys, so this is the uh, teens uh, crystal growing, um, basically science from the pantry experiment. Uh, some of you guys that signed up and registered got a kit to make these. And we'll go over in a minute what is actually in your kit, but I want you to see the final product. It is my crystal that, ha uh, that I grew. And what happens is when you take something like borax or salt or sugar and put it in hot water and that dissolves it. Now what happens is, is when your water cools, your salt, sugar, borax uh, can no longer stay in solution. And what it does is it wants to hang on to something and form a crystal. That's what the pipe cleaners are for. So the pipe cleaners act as something called a nucleation site. And basically what that means is just, just giving something for the crystal to hang on to while it forms. So enough of the science background. Let's go ahead and hop into it and I will show you what is in your kit. And then we'll go ahead and make the crystal. Okay, so here we go. All right guys, so first I'm just gonna go over what is actually in your kit and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you're going to have four blue pipe cleaners. This is what you're going to use to make your snowflake shape. Um, you're going to have two little cups of borax. This is a detergent. Um, so there are four tablespoons in each of these little cups. When you mix the water, it's one cup of water to each of these cups. So if you make a big batch and do both of these, you'll want two cups. If you do a small batch, one cup of hot water with one of these. You're going to have some fishing line. I hope you can see that. And then you're going to have a pair of chopsticks. So your first step is going to be using your pipe cleaners, bending and twisting them to make kind of a snowflake shape. Then we are going to boil some hot water, dissolve this, and then we're going to basically just dangle the, um, the pipe cleaners in a cup. So I am going to hit pause and I am going to basically make these into a snowflake shape and then we will come back. Okay. Okay, so there I've got kind of my snowflake shape and I want to make sure that it's going to fit in the jar and it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big so I'm just going to twist these and so that'll end up making them a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna twist these up a little bit. So that's the shape I'm going to go with and it should now fit in the jar. Okay. The next step before you put your detergent and hot water in your cup is to use the fishing line. You're going to tie a bit to your pipe cleaners and then you're going to tie the other end to your chopstick. There we go, now we have a knot. Okay. And now, you're going to use the chopstick to sort of dangle your uh, snowflake from. So, put your snowflake in your cup, and then you're going to just sort of eyeball it. You want your snowflake to dangle. You don't want it to touch the bottom of your cup. So, make sure that when you tie this, that you get the length just right so that when you put your chop or your chopsticks back down here that your snowflake does not touch the bottom of your jar. So that looks about right. So I'm just gonna wrap this up and then just tie a little knot so that it will dangle. Okay. 
And now when you lay your chopstick across your jar, your snowflake ought to dangle. And here, let's just show you what it looks like. So you want it to dangle without touching the bottom. So that ought to do it. All right. Now the next step is the tricky part. You're going to put in your borax, and then you're going to pour in a cup of boiling water. Now what I'm using is a pitcher that heats up water. You can boil water uh, on your stove. Just be really careful. Please don't burn yourself. So I'm just going to take the borax. So this is four tablespoons of borax. Okay. And then I'm going to put in hot water. Now you can see that that is pretty warm. And I'm going to give it a stir. Sadly, I should have brought another chopstick up here so that I could stir it. That's okay, I'll use the chopstick that's holding my, my snowflake. You can use a spoon at home. All right, so you want to make sure that the borax is completely dissolved in your hot water before you dangle your snowflake. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more because that's not quite a cup. There we go. Okay. And I know that that is a little over a cup of water, so just because I want to make sure that I got some really cool crystals growing, I'm just going to put a little bit more borax in. So just make sure you stir it until you can no longer see the borax in the bottom of your cup. So when you're using the hot water, you want to make sure that whatever bowl or cup you're using is safe for hot water. Uh, this is a canning jar, so these are meant to get really warm. So make sure you have heat safe glass uh, that can handle the boiling water without shattering. So you want to make sure that your water is almost clear before you dangle your snowflake in it. So you can see that that's starting to get clear. Okay. Now this is the hard part, is letting your snowflake sit for 24 hours. And that's how long it'll take for the crystals to grow on your snowflake. Okay. That should do it. So I'm going to dingle my snowflake. And it looks like my knot came undone a little bit, so I'm just gonna retie it. Tie it a little better. Okay, so. You're going to just put your snowflake into your water. Let it sink a little bit. Now, when I retied it, it got a little, uh, the uh, string got a little longer and it's not dangling very well. So I'm going to pull this up here. There we go. Make sure it's not touching. Looks like we need a little bit more water in here because the top of the snowflake is out. There we go. All right. Now the best thing to do if you can is make sure your snowflake is not touching the sides of your jar or the bottom. So right now it looks like it is suspended and it's not touching anything, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so. We're going to let this sit overnight for 24 hours, and by tomorrow, 
your snowflake should be covered in crystals. So we'll see you then and uh, have a good night. Bye. Okay guys, welcome back. It has been actually quite a few days since I did this. Um, I first poured that Borax solution on a Thursday, the day before uh, New Year's. And this is Monday the 4th. So this has actually been here for four days. But I must say that the crystals actually turned out quite well. So I can see them in here. They're pretty cool. So let me just uh, shake this a little bit. But you can see that I have crystals now all over my snowflake design. Now I do see that some didn't attach. Um, I think that these little crystals must have been here. Uh, and then they must have just like broke loose or something. But anyway, you can see I've got nice big crystals on my snowflake. Uh, so yeah, this was actually in here for like four days. Um, so those are really nice, nice big crystals. I'm actually kind of happy with the way it turned out. So um, I guess next is the best thing to do is to maybe put a ribbon on this thing or hang it up somewhere. Hopefully your snowflake doesn't have a little string come off like this one did. I think I might actually just pull that off. But uh, you can see that those are really nice big crystals that formed on my snowflake. Well, anyway. There is the snowflake. Uh, enjoy, hang it up as an ornament. Um, I would, you know, things like this, you know, just clip that off. It looks like the uh, part of the fishing line must have gotten into the borax. And it looks like it has, uh, it got twisted around the snowflake somehow. But anyway, well, there it is. There's my crystals. So have fun with this kit. I know I did. And we'll see you next time. Bye.